All right, we'll talk very quickly. I'm not gonna go into a ton of detail about these other things. These are things that we've done over the last couple of years that, uh, that Metasoft 16 will give you. If you're on 15, you'll have some of these. Uh, if you're on earlier than 15, then you probably don't have any, very many of these at all. There's missed copay tracking and billing, which will allow you to get a missed copay onto a remainder statement before the insurance carrier pays. This is critical to you because patients' payments are becoming a larger portion of the reimbursement on each visit that is occurring. You need the ability to bill the patient immediately for the services that were rendered, especially if they didn't make the copay. It is much more effective for you to send a statement out right after the visit than waiting for six months or however long it's going to take for the first statement to go out to reach that patient. If it's right after the services were rendered, the patients are more likely to pay that because they remember that that's for the time that they were just at the doctor's office. Small balance write-off integration with statement management. How many of you know how much it costs to send one statement if you're not using Bill Flash? Have you figured out what it costs your office to send one statement? $11, $12 is probably a little high, unless you're sending it to India. or It costs about $5 per statement. When you count the postage, the ink that you're printing, the, the envelope, and the time, it costs you about $5 per statement that you send. Now, if it costs you $5 per statement that you send, and someone has a $10 balance, and you send them three statements, you're in the hole. You've spent $15 collecting 10. If you do that very long, will you stay in business? No. We've integrated the small balance write-off in Metasoft with the statement management, so you can write off that $10 balance based on how many times the statement has been submitted. So if the statement's been submitted two times and the balance is lower than a certain amount, you can write that value off so that you ensure that you're not sending statements three times that will put you in the hole. In statement management, we added a remainder calculation where there's a field that will tell you the remainder balance on each statement. This allows your office to focus on the high dollar statements first so that you're not worried about collecting that $10 statement that's down there at the bottom. You, when you're doing your collection process, you want to focus on where the bulk of your money is. If you have $20,000 on one statement and $5 on another, you better be calling the $20,000 statement first. We are allowing you to print the detail out on the deposit list. This will help you see how the deposit has been posted. Since most of you are not doing ERA, this is probably good for most of you because you don't always finish posting the EOB the first time that you're in there. I guarantee you that you don't because you start posting it at 3 in the afternoon and it gets to be 6 and you're tired of it and you want to go home so you'll do the rest of it tomorrow. So uh, this will allow you to print out and see what has exactly been posted on each deposit in the deposit list. There's an ability to select a default printer for custom reports, so you can send your statements to one location, your super bills to another, uh, your claims to another, preventing you from printing out a super bill onto a claim or a statement onto a claim or a claim onto a super bill, and it'll allow you to specify that by tray. So you don't have to ha send it to different printers. You can say, I want to set it up so that these ones go to this tray that has this paper already loaded. Uh, there's a hot key that will automatically bring up the last chart that you had selected, and it'll populate that into any of the chart number fields that you have in Metasoft. It's either Control or Shift F4, and it'll populate in the chart number field. So if you had an appointment open for patient Peterson, and went into transaction entry and didn't want to type the chart number, you just hit Control F4, it'll populate the, the chart number from the patient that you had selected before. And finally, there's a warning that pops up if you try to schedule another appointment for a patient that already has an appointment in the future so that you don't end up with double, uh, double booked appointments.